How would you feel if you went to the bathroom and you couldn't find your genitals because they were so shriveled up? These are the side effects that you can expect from using performance enhancers. Shriveled up testicles. For men, women will have ovary problems. Lack of sex drive, which affect both men and women. Shriveled up penis. Women have the opposite problem. They will have an enlarged clitoris that they've got to return back to normal if they want to, and depression, which hits both men and women. Now for myself, I noticed one night, my girlfriend and I were out and it was a rainy night. There wasn't too much excitement in that part of town. So she suggested we go to the cinema and it just happened to be a cinema that was showing a pornographic movie. We went inside and started watching and immediately I noticed there's a difference here between you and these guys, and that was they actually had testicles. My testicles had turned into peanuts at that time. And my immediate concern became, is my girlfriend noticing this? That was the big one for me. What she thought, according to her, I don't know if she was being nice, she didn't seem to notice much difference but it played on my head because not only could I see the difference, I could feel it. I was in the middle of a cycle. I was training for something important. I wasn't taking a lot, but I was taking enough to cause these side effects. These side effects are not easy to overcome. The gamut of things that I had to do and learn in order to overcome these side effects, including learning how to use female drugs that they normally use for, for, for fertility and for pregnancy, I had to learn how to use them and maximize them in a male's body. To a certain extent, they got me to the next level. Then there were natural substances like amino acids and herbs, which I also used along with meditating. And this meditation was actually quite unique because I used to do it outdoors because I read somewhere where through the back of your skull is where light can enter. And that light will affect the pituitary. What would also affect the pituitary is me sitting there with my fingers like this, with my eyes closed, doing wobble sounds of um. And what that did is it makes the skull vibrate, which kickstarts the pituitary gland. So I threw everything at it, including the kitchen sink, because not only was this affecting me, my girlfriend was a competitive bodybuilder and she had been asking me for a while to help her with her anabolic steroid cycle, which I was very hesitant to want to do, but it did happen. And I actually think she reacted a lot worse than what I did, not only from the depression side, the clitoris and what happened to the clitoris. Some, some women actually uh, don't mind. Some women are just like totally embarrassed by an enlarged clitoris. What happened to her voice? How to reverse all of this? There were some very unique methods that I used, <clears throat> which eventually I also ended up helping my girlfriend with and somehow, one way or another, we actually got back to normal. We were both successful in reversing the side effects due to the amount of study that I did. And it, it was deep study because I didn't just hit it from one angle. I hit it from the medical angle, the natural medicine angle, and also the supplements and lifestyle. The lifestyle meant that I had to become an expert on adrenals, which took a lot of study, and I know exactly how to deal with adrenals. I also had to learn something that most doctors are not aware of, and that is using uh, human menopausal gonadrophin, HCG, and Clomid, which are predominantly drugs that were made for women. HCG comes from pregnant women's urine, and it's for women, who want to increase their follicle stimulating hormones and fall pregnant. Uh, Clomid, which helps the brain start producing these hormones. 
So along with the natural supplements, mostly of which were herbs and amino acids, along with the meditating and the wervel sounds and you know the light coming through the back of my head while sitting in the backyard and and sitting there like this, um, doing that to rattle my skull to get the pituitary gland to start producing these hormones, uh, making sure that my rest and training and eating all matched my goal, which was to return all my vital signs back to normal. There were some very interesting times that I went through in learning all of this.